so I'm back with another makeup tutorial and it's gonna be on this look here I have an outfit with this look that I want to show everybody as well it's just kind of reflects who I guess my personality is or who I am and what I love and you know normally with this makeup this is what I would do if I were going out minus the red lips I don't do the red lips too much but um I thought it added a lot of character and yeah so if you know me you know how much I love studs and I'm I just love to look like I'm hardcore but yes yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial oh I will be using my new Lorac Pro palette which I absolutely love all these pretty pretty colors I love Lorac. Um, the colors are beautiful. They're very pigmented. They do have a lot of fallout, which um, you know I don't really like, but you can definitely clean that up. And yeah, so stay tuned if you want to get this edgy rockerish look. You're gonna grab a flat, fluffy brush, and in your Lorac Pro palette, grab the nude color in the corner. You're going to apply this under your eyebrow bone using it kind of like a base um, eyeshadow and towards your tear duct as well. This is just going to give the look a little bit of a shimmer. With a larger fluffy brush, you're going to grab the color mauve, mauve, or I don't know. You know what color I'm talking about. You're going to apply this on your crease, above your crease just a little bit, darkening it as dark as you'd like it. This is just creating that shadow color. Now grab a flat brush and grab the color Garnet. You're gonna apply this on the outer half of your eyelid just like I'm doing there. This is just giving it a little bit of bronze shimmer. Now blend out the two colors. Now with a dome pencil looking type of brush, you're gonna grab the color black. I hope you guys know what black is. You're going to just dab this on the outer corner of your eyelids, then grabbing a blending brush, blending it out, kind of creating a, if you can tell, a line going straight up towards your eyebrows, not blending it towards the shape of your eyelids. Then you're just going to grab that dome brush again, darkening the color, repeating this if necessary to get that dark color you want. Then grab a blending brush once again and blend out all the colors and all the harsh lines. You're going to grab a small liner brush here and grab the color Garnet. Apply this on your lower lash line. Now with another liner brush, grab black and apply this to your outer lower lash line and connecting it up to your eyelids just like that. Blend out all the harsh lines. And then you're going to grab a pencil brush and the color white and you're going to apply this to your inner tear ducts. With a flat brush, grab the color cream and apply this under your eyebrow bone, highlighting the color. Now with Lorac's um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, you're going to line your eyeliner, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Create your wing tip looking thingy like I am doing, as winged out as you want, and just apply a little bit on your lower lash line just like I'm doing. Curl your lashes, apply as many mascaras as you want. I love to apply more than one type of mascara and multiple coats. Isn't it funny you make the funniest faces when you're applying mascara? I don't know why. but. I always look at myself and I'm like, why do I look so weird? Anyways, so contour your face, cheeks, whatever. Now apply blush. I'm using Sephora's Rose. This is just to make my cheeks all rosy and nice. And at the end of my look, you know what I always do? I grab my Kabuki brush or powder brush and kind of blend out my cheeks and the rest of my face. Apply some chapstick and grab your lip liner. I'm using Max Mahogany Lip Pencil. After applying your lip liner, you're going to apply your beautiful red lipstick. I'm using Max Viva Glam 1 in the matte shade. 
Here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had fun doing it. Now stay tuned for the outfit that I paired this look with. I'm gonna start it off with some super cute spike studded earrings. This is from Baker's with a denim jacket from Fashion Q and a black tank top and shorts with some cute ballerina flats with spikes on the back from Baker's. And if you want to get this hair tutorial look, I will be posting that on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye! Oh, and if you want to catch my $20 makeup challenge, click to the video on the right. And for my vlogs, click to the video on the left. Thank you!